Hi guys, welcome. Today we're going to be talking about the Merca and the 5 amp hour and 2.5 amp hour batteries and whether or not you want the 2.5 or the 5 or which one's best and all of that stuff. So if you're not familiar, this is the Merca 3 inch 12 millimeter orbit random orbit polisher. I've talked in other videos about this polisher, how much I like it and how much I use it. Honestly, as a prosumer, consumer, enthusiast, whatever you want to call me, um, if I could only own one polisher, this is the one that I think I would personally pick to own. I realize a professional detailer would probably pick a five inch because they can do a lot of work really fast with a five inch, and this is going to be a slower process. But honestly, this is so pleasant to use. It's very quiet, very smooth, just has tons of power, works really, really well. So let's talk about the two batteries. So this is the five amp hour battery and the Merc is available in two different ways you can purchase it. So you can buy a kit. The kit includes the unit, two of these five amp hour batteries, a charger and a power cord. If you buy not the kit, um, you can also buy the unit as just the unit itself. So it's just a unit, nothing else. You can buy batteries separately. You can buy a charger separately. So you can mix and match your own kit. If you buy the kit with the two five amp hour batteries, it's about $875. If you buy the unit uh, with two 2.5 amp hour batteries, the power cord and charger, it's about $825. So it's about $50 less expensive. Unlike some brands like Milwaukee and DeWalt and many others in the power tool industry, it seems like you don't get a huge incentive for buying the kit versus buying the separate parts, which is fine. So talking about the size, um, from a weight perspective, the Merca with this yellow Rupes pad and a 2.5 amp hour battery weighs in at two pounds and two ounces. If you switch out the battery for this five amp hour battery, you go from two pounds, two ounces to two pounds, 10 ounces, which doesn't seem like a lot. It's only half a pound, but it is about 25% of the weight that you're increasing by. As far as power is concerned, both of these battery options provide excellent power. Um, either way, I can't stall the pad. I can't stop the unit from rotating. It's got tons of torque. It works really, really well, and it does a great job of correcting. The five amp hour battery does not, in my opinion, provide any additional torque, correction capability, or speed compared to the 2.5. The only difference seems to be in the runtime. So the 2.5 amp hour battery, in my experience, takes about 45 minutes to charge. It runs for about 25 minutes before being dead, which doesn't seem good, but what I found is I corrected this entire car, the whole Mercedes, and I just did a one step because the car was already in pretty good shape. There weren't really any areas that I needed to correct. I just used polish and did a one step. Um, but what I found was it took me about two hours of actual use to go through the 25 minutes of battery because you're using panel prep and then you're doing a panel and then you're wiping it off and then you're inspecting and then maybe you're hitting another spot again, maybe you're washing your pad. You're doing all of these things that kind of take up time but aren't actually using the unit to correct at that time. So realistically, I was never without a battery while I was chasing the car. Um, I, you know, even, even moving really hard, I think that it'd be very difficult to run this battery dead faster than I can charge a new one. Um, the larger battery lasts about 45 to 50 minutes and it takes about an hour and 15 to an hour and 20 to charge. So this one does charge a little bit faster compared to the amount of time, like percentage wise, if that makes sense, which, which actually makes a lot of sense because most lithium batteries charge to 80% really fast. And then that last 20% takes a long time as it's trying to level out the battery. The thing that I don't like about the five amp hour battery is the size of it, the physical size. And it seems nitpicky because it honestly is. We're talking about a, this is a, you know, a 9.0 and I'm saying we could go to a 9.3 by having this 2.5 amp hour battery on it. But when you're using the unit and you're holding it like this, I can very easily use this with one hand. Um, it's, it's, it's easy to control and you can get into a lot of tight places and my hand is the largest part of the unit. So I kind of protect the car with my hand and not hitting things around me. When you switch to the five amp hour battery, 
Now the battery becomes the largest part of the unit. It sticks down further than your fingers. It sticks out further than your knuckles. It sticks out further than your palm. So when you're in certain tight spaces, like in the quarter panels here, and we're trying to do, you know, next to a mirror, next to a pillar, it's easy to accidentally bump things with this. Now this has a rubberized pad on it. I don't think that you would actually cause any damage to your vehicle, but I don't see the point in a battery of this physical size on a polisher like this. When I have the runtime that I do, the power that I do with the 2.5 amp hour battery, I don't see the need for this. And, you know, myself, when I ordered my Merca, the kits were all out of stock. I couldn't get a kit. So I bought a unit, I bought a battery, I, well, I bought a pair of these batteries, and I bought a charger. I paid 825 bucks. When it showed up, I also ordered a five amp hour battery because I wanted to try it out. That was delayed by almost two months. When it arrived, I honestly didn't care. I didn't miss it. I wasn't really worried about it. And when I used it, it was fine. But I'm gonna correct a section of the car here really quick. I'm just gonna show that on camera so you can kind of see me switch between the batteries and what that's like. Um, you know, the, the, the unit itself works really, really well. I'm very happy with it. And, you know, honestly, um, I don't think you can go wrong with either of these batteries. My hope would be that Merca would come out with a kit that includes the 2.5s from the factory. Cause right now you have to buy the separates, but you can see here back and forth passes. This is the 2.5. Even if I push down hard, it doesn't stall the pad. It's got a lot of corrective action and it works really, really well. It's nice and smooth and quiet. I can very easily run it with one hand if I want to. It does wander a bit because it has a lot of torque, but you can run this with one hand as well. And the more you do it, the better you get. We switch over to the larger battery. Single click to turn it on. Press and hold to use. You can hear, sounds exactly the same. The power is the same. If I push down, does the same action, doesn't stall. Works very, very well. So there really is no problem with the five amp hour battery. If you have the fives, I'm not saying throw them away, but you might wanna buy a 2.5 because the 2.5 does create opportunity for you to get into tighter spaces and also to have a lighter, more portable machine for certain circumstances where that might be useful. If you're a professional detailer and you use this all day, every day, maybe you would want the five amp hour battery because you wouldn't want to have to swap batteries all the time, but you're probably also using a five inch and you're probably only picking up your three inch, maybe 15, 20 minutes a day. So you probably don't need it either. If you're a mobile guy, maybe, just maybe, you don't want to have to swap out your battery. You wanna be able to go through an entire day. I don't even know that makes sense. Because every mobile guy I've ever seen everyone I've ever worked with, they always have a charger in their car and they always plug the batteries in when they're not in use. So you would always have one on the charger anyway. So really, yeah, I don't see a reason for the five. Maybe in certain circumstances you want all day runtime, you want hours and hours. Uh, I think I would rather have the smaller battery. And I make that call with Milwaukee too, so it's not just Merca but Milwaukee has a 2.0, a 3.0, a CP 2.5, the 4.0, the 6.0. My favorite battery is the CP 2.5. Why? Because it's high output and it's compact in size. So it doesn't make my tool big, it doesn't make my tool heavy, but it gives my tool the maximum amount of power. And realistically, if you have a reasonable amount of batteries and a charger, you can always charge the battery faster than you run it dead. So that's my opinion. I'll put links in the description if you have any questions, concerns, feel free to comment. And uh, thank you for watching and hopefully you'll have a great day.